the past few Fridays to take a look at how you can maximize your space and style in some of the smaller rooms in your house. And today we're looking at one of the toughest rooms to decorate. Yeah, it's the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, from cramped counter spaces to trouble with the wall art, it seems like the kitchen's never big enough, is it, for all the people you want to fit in there. Designer Den Denise Willard's back with us today. She's got a look at how you can kick up your style along with maybe your cooking, too. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Hi, how are you? I don't know about the cooking. The I'm cooking, not sure. I'm not sure about the cooking I did not either. get that gene, trust me. <laughs> but it'll me, look so. great if you follow your tips. <laughs> right. All right, so we're talking about smaller rooms. How do we start uh, visualizing a larger kitchen? What's the first step? Well, there's lots of different things. Primarily in the kitchen, the, ma the main thing to focus on is your cabinetry because that's your furniture for your kitchen. And a lot of people complain that, you know, cabinetry is so expensive, but quite frankly, it is your furniture. So one of the key things to focus on is that and to, to uh, try to scale it appropriately for your kitchen and also pick the right colors. We often recommend white, uh, even though a lot of people don't like white kitchens, but it's one of the best colors for kitchens. And I think we have a picture here to show you guys as an example. Um, it's one of the best colors because it bounces, all the light bounces off of white and therefore it makes the space look bigger. How to keep it clean? Uh, well, that's a challenge. Um, order out. <laughs> that is a challenge. You, if you're like me, it's not an issue because I never cook. Um, I order out a lot and um, you just have to be very, you know, you have to keep up on it and keep it clean every day and make sure you go behind yourself. Um, but one of the things we recommend is also taking the cabinetry all the way to the ceiling, floor to ceiling, oh, so yeah. there's no delineation um, between, um, you know, there's no separation between where the cabinets stop and where the ceiling um, begins. So it also elongates the space and make it, makes it look much better. So then do you do silver appliances? It looks like the microwave is silver, or can you do a black with it too? You can. Typically we would try to recommend something that is more muted, like a silver or something that blends in. That microwave actually is quite petite, and that's another idea is to pick appliances that are scaled appropriately for your space that are still functional so you can fit everything in. So you can definitely find, this is the actual example I was thinking of. This kitchen is um, floor to ceiling white. You've got white cabinetry, a white backsplash with subway tiles, and also all the cabinetry at the top as well as a really thick chunky crowd molding. And even though it's all white, it doesn't look sterile because what they've done here is added in some texture with the, um, the nice woven shade on the window mm -hmm. and also the rug and also a few accessories. The other thing they've done here is in adding that rug with the stripes, we talked about this last week when we talked about bathrooms, much like stripes make us look wider and that's why we don't wear them because we don't want to look bigger than we are, well they work the same way in interiors. What you do is you put the stripe um, and lay it in, the, in a fashion such that it's laying in the small or the narrowest part of the room and therefore it makes that part of the room look bigger. Now what if you're not specifically a white person but you, you, know, you still want to make your space look bigger, is there any other shade that you could go with? Absolutely. The idea there is to go with something that's monochromatic. So regardless of the, of the color that you pick, often we try to go with something that's a little bit lighter. Um, and we do have an example, I believe, of a, a kitchen where it's got like a gray-green ca cabinetry. Okay. And we leverage that on the cabinets, um, base cabinets, the uh, wall cabinets, as well as the backsplash. And therefore, and also even in the tile, those are actually all the same colors. Um, they're sort of the same color family, and it's very monochromatic. So even though it's not white, it all sort of has the same consistency. And so your eye looks at the same, looks at that room and sees one color versus seeing it being broken up, and therefore it looks bigger. Now, if you're doing this yourself and you're going to paint the cabinets, is there a, a specific paint that you use for the kitchen that it wipes off easier if there's a stain? Yes, usually the, there's definitely a, a certain type of paint. We don't recommend people paint their cabinets too often unless you really know what you're doing. It's a lot of work. Okay. I had a pregnant client want to do that one time and I'm like, do you realize how much dust you're going to create? I mean, it's a lot of work, but yeah, there's a special paint for that and certainly go to your local paint store and they can recommend the best one given what you're trying to accomplish. Okay. Um, the other thing they've done in this space is they've used the very large uh, floor tiles and that's another idea. You want to make your floor look as big as possible. So those very large, like 20 by 20 floor tiles make the space look bigger than it is. All right. Another trick is like using glass and mirrors to, to kind of open up space. Yes. Have you, uh, have you used that in kitchens before? Yes, and actually um, I hopefully we're going to show you an example here of, um, of a mirrored backsplash. Look at this. This is a mirrored backsplash, which I would never recommend if you're a big chef or a big cook, 
But what you see underneath the cabinet there is actually a reflection of the, oh. the oven on the on the other wall. Oh. So there's a mirrored backsplash here that really opens up the space much like a mirror does in any room. And then the other thing we recommend is there's a couple of things you can do with cabinetry. Here what they've done is instead of using all the wood front doors, mm -hmm. they've switched out the wood fronts for some glass fronts. And what that does is that it basically makes the walls recede. So your eye looks beyond just the wood front. You look into the cabinet so it makes the room look bigger. Gotta keep so it neat. pretty. <laughs> you do have to keep it neat. And if you were me, that wouldn't work because I'm just horrible. I have, I'm the clutter freak. But, but you'd um, have to have all of your uh, your plates and your cups and everything would have to match perfectly. They you would have to match. Like they'd have to be stacked perfectly, perfectly. And you definitely don't want to do it in the Tupperware um, section of your home, you know, where it's all chaotic. The other thing that's a good idea there is you can actually remove the door fronts. So you can actually just ex expose the cabinet and have everything just totally open. It achieves the same result. Some people don't want to do the glass door fronts because they're expensive. And then also what you'll see in some more contemporary settings is just the floating shelves where they've stacked, you know, their dishes and things there. Again, you do have to be neat, though. <laughs> what about an island? What can that get you? Yes, um, we have an example of a great island that was designed by someone here locally. And there's a lot of different ideas, but the one that I'm going to showcase here today, this is really, really cool. Basically, it's got an island within an island. So this island has a little home that you can roll it into the island and hide away when you need the extra floor space. But when you need the extra prep, extra prep space and or seating area, you pull it out and you use it in whatever fashion you need it. And I think it's ingenious. I've actually never seen anything like this until recently and I had to show it because it's such a great idea. When you were describing this earlier, I was thinking it was just a tray that would pull out underneath the table, no. and, but it's the whole table. It's a whole it table. In fact, in it can be rolled out and used in some other part of the home. But when you when you need to store it away and have the extra space, you just hide it away. How cool is that? Isn't that perfect for a small right. space? It I love it. It totally is. <laughs> Very I love cool. the pendant lights too. Yep, I too. often wonder though, does that break it up visually? I mean, having pen things hanging down, does that kind of make the space look smaller? In some no, way? it actually helps to define the space, so I always recommend you do it. it. They just have to be scaled appropriately to your space. So, cool. Lots of great tips. Denise, thanks so much for coming back. Thank you. And we'll see you next week for happy one more small <laughs>